Hey guys, Michael here from Dapper Raptor, and we're going to go over some more advanced uses of interfaces, um, expanding on the interaction system we've built here in the first two videos. So if you have not checked those out, I would recommend checking those out as it goes over what interfaces are and why you should be using them, as well as switching over a simple casting system to use interfaces. So in this one, we're going to take a look at how to use outputs on interface messages. They work much like anything else, but just for the purpose of covering everything, let's go through and do it. Um, so I've got a simple widget here. I'm just going to hook up. So this is on the event begin play. We create the widget, which is just this very simple widget here that says use an item. Both of these are variables so that we can drive them. Um, saves as a reference and then adds it to the viewport. It then also fires up a function timer called check for interaction that runs every 0.2 seconds so five times a second and it is looping that interaction logic is this here it does our simple trace so it goes through and traces for an actor and then if it manages to find something it will display the widget if it does not it will hide it so let's have a look at what that looks like if we walk over to our door, you can see on screen it says use item. If we look off the door, it's no longer there. Same with the ball and the button. However, this is very simple. And if we look at anything, it's so if we look at the wall, the floor, anything, it's going to do that. We can fix that using a really handy interface section. So instead of using is valid here, let's go does implement interface. And if it does, then that will fire up. We want to tell it to use the interact interface that we made and we're going to compile and save, close this. And let's have a look at that. So if we look at the floor and the wall, it doesn't happen. But if we walk over to the door, we see use item. If we look at the ball, it says use item. If we look at the button, it says use item. We can take this further. We can open up our interaction here and we're going to create a new function and we're going to call this get interact details we're going to give it two outputs and we're going to set them both to string and we're going to call the first one action and the second one name so let's jump back into our controller and off here we're going to bring this over here and we're going to go get Inter, uh, well, let's let's add a branch here so that if it's not if it doesn't have that imp that uh, interface implemented, we don't try and do this. From there, let's go get interaction details or get interact details. Make sure it's a message, and if we do implement the interface, we want to run that. Bear with me a second here while I make this a little bit neater. There we go. Okay, from here we're going to grab our use widget reference and we're going to go get, I think I called it use text, which is this guy here, it's just the text here. We've got use text and item text. We're going to go set text on the use text and we're going to put that right there and we're going to use the action text to drive that off this one we're going to go get item text and we're going to do the same thing set text and we're going to use that one there for that this is a bit messier than I like, but it'll do for now. Let's neaten it up like that. That'll do. So what's going to happen here is we're going to do the trace for actor. This is happening five times a second, remember? If the actor we hit is one that has our, interact, our interface set up on it, we're going to display the use text uh, widget, the use item widget, sorry. If not, it'll be hidden. Then we're going to go through and we're going to use this same check again. If it does implement it, we're going to then go through and get the details from it, which is the action and the name. We're going to use the action 
to say what use type it is. So like, for instance, open the door or press the button. That's the action is press and open. And then we're going to use the name to drive the item text. So it'll say door or button. So we need to now set this up in our actors. If we open all three of these, we can go over here because we added the interact into the interact details into the interface. It's already here. We can just double click this. Now you'll notice the first one we did is yellow. That's because it's an, an event. It doesn't have any output. So it just treats it as an event. You can still use a function for this by overriding it, I believe, but the difference between these two is one has to be a function, the gray one, because it has an output. So here for the door, we're just going to call this door. For the action, we're going to use a select node. We're going to use select string. And if the door is open, we're going to say close. And if the door is closed, we're going to say open. Let's go to the button. Same thing, open up the interact details. For this one, we're just going to say press and button. And for the ball, we're going to do the same thing. This one, we're going to say bounce and ball. So now we have logic that is driving both lots of these texts. If we jump in here, we see that we don't have anything pop up when we're looking at the floor. So we walk to the door, it says open door. Once that changes, it says close door. We go to the ball, it says bounce ball. We go to the button, it says press button. And again, all of this is without any sort of casting and we're not using any hard references. If we open up our reference viewer, we still only have these three here. Hopefully that'll give you an idea of how you can start expanding on interfaces to do a bit more. You can also use inputs, um, but in this one, we've just used outputs. Same thing though, exact same stuff. If we were to use an input, <clears throat> it would have an input on here and that would pass the input through to here. So we can use that in the same way we use outputs. Thank you very much for watching and in the next one we're going to go over a little bit more advanced implementation.